Okay, so question number six follows directly on in terms of the content from question number five. Question number five was, of course, about localization of function. This is now going to be about plasticity and functional recovery. Okay, so we have Lotta and her grandmother, and Lotta's worried that she's not going to make any recovery because of her age. Okay, so we have to use our knowledge of plasticity and functional recovery of the brain after trauma to explain why Lotta might be wrong. Okay, now effectively, this is a question about the process of recovery. Okay, so the question wants you to just talk about the fact that the brain can rewire itself and it does so regardless of how old you are. Okay, so you need to talk about the process of functional recovery after trauma and what that looks like. Okay, there's a lot of ways that you could go about it. There's a lot of keywords that you could use, like neuronal unmasking or axonal sprouting or denervation supersensitivity. There's all kinds of stuff that you could say. You don't have to talk about all of those things. Um, you just have to give a good account of what is going to happen in Lotta's grandmother's brain. Okay, so let's have a look at what that could be. So research has shown that the brain is able to rewire itself after trauma in order to regain lost functions. Okay, so we're going to talk about the process of neuronal unmasking. Okay, and that is when secondary pathways um, become activated. Okay, once those secondary pathways are active, they will take on the role of the damaged pathways which will then allow the grandmother to recover some of her lost language and motor functions. Okay, you can add more detail if you want. I've purposely kept it quite short, um, so it wouldn't be the end of the world if you wanted to add in more detail, talk about the fact that, you know, the areas in the right hemisphere might be recruited to do that work. You could talk about the formation of new blood vessels. You know, there, there is so much that you could potentially talk about. However, I am also aware of doing this in a way that is realistic for the exam. Okay, so I know that I've put more detail into some of my other questions in this paper, so I'm going to keep this one purposely short. Okay, it'll still get four marks, so I'm not worried about that. It's just that I'm purposely leaving out some of the other key details. So there is your answer to question number six. I hope that all makes sense. See you in question number seven.